Hello, my name is Katherine Berry. I'm Chief Product Officer and Co-Founder at Allocadia. This is part two of the Allocadia demo, Planning and Budgeting. Allocadia Marketing Performance Management is enterprise marketing software that helps revenue-driven marketing organizations to manage their planning, budgeting, and analysis. Our vision here is to help CMOs and marketing teams to get better visibility into marketing performance as well as share marketing's contribution to the business. The product is designed by marketers like myself as well as Christine Stewart, our CEO, as well as my twin sister. This means that the product is intuitive for us as marketers. In this video, I will show you how marketing teams can input their planning and budgeting processes within Allocadia. Let's get started. I will start first with a view of what we do from a technology platform standpoint. At the heart of what we do is a budgeting and planning application. Marketing organizations input their marketing plans in Allocadia, including activities, corporate objectives they map to, as well as planned spend and returns. We then connect in to ERP data to do spend analytics such as plan versus actual. This equals the ERP and CRM for marketing. Salespeople will enter in their operational data into their CRM and it helps departments manage their core business data to perform better. With marketing, instead of it being about the money coming in as it is for sales, it's about the money going out. We then connect to top of the funnel metrics across channels. Each campaign system collects great return metrics from leads to mentions, but each system only analyzes their own campaign ROI. The CMO wants to see ROI across channels to get accurate and overall visibility into funnel metrics. We then connect to bottom of the funnel revenue metrics from CRM to give that full visibility into return on marketing investment. This whole solution equals marketing performance management. Let's now go over the workflows for inputting your NPM data into the system. The Home tab is everyone's main interface. The Home tab is where we find both your investment as well as your result hierarchies. The Home tab hierarchy is completely configurable on the front end and is customized to match your specific organizational hierarchy. This is a typical B2B setup with corporate and field marketing with regions underneath, but for B2C, for example, you could see a list of brands here, for example. Permissions are granted here at various levels of the hierarchy, enabling that filtered view of analytics that I mentioned. Adding users is very easy to do. We typically see a high percentage of marketing organization users in the system. You can think of it as the CRM for sales where everyone gets a seat. This is a tool to help marketers with the daily business of marketing. The hierarchy is able to accommodate a multi-currency setup, allowing end users to plan in their local currency and to roll up to a master currency, making it very intuitive. You can also access settings here, which is your one-stop shop to configure and maintain the settings ongoing. Typically, we set up this hierarchy in collaboration with marketing operations teams. In this panel is where we input top-down finance and results target data. We can accommodate various levels of split allocations. For example, a regional field VP gets one allocated number, but then he or she further splits that down to their team members. The budget tab is where marketers come in on a daily, weekly basis to do all of their detailed budgeting activities. It's designed to look and feel like Excel, and customers do love this because it's easy to use. The budget tab hierarchy is also completely configurable. It can be set up to use templates for all teams or can be left open-ended. You can also create different views for all your various stakeholders or for different timeframes. Building out the plan here is very easy and involves a one hour online training. Marketers can active, add activities via the main action buttons here. For example, let's look at this from the perspective of a marketing manager responsible for the North America region. They're in the planning cycle and they want to add one more item to this event. You add a line item, double click to rename, and you enter in the amount that you will be doing for this activity. 
I will enter it here in Q1 as I know the event is happening then. On the right hand side here I can see what is left to plan for the year versus my target allocated to me and also when we start to execute against the plan what is left to spend. As well here via the red tag indicators I can see which required attributes have not yet been filled out in order to facilitate that global, global roll-up picture. This is where you tag to strategic attributes such as objective, product, campaign type, and split level allocations as well. For example, here I know this shows targeting these two audiences. As well, this is where I can input my planned leads that will automatically calculate my estimated revenue generated. I can also put in the date for the event. And these dates can help both populate a calendar report, but also populate the estimated revenue by time, so by month and by quarter. At the top here, this is where I can link all of my results data back to my investment. I can tag the campaign from my CRM, for example, here, or I can also tag my Eloqua campaign for top of the funnel results data to tie back, as well, if relevant, the social media system from Hootsuite to tie back to investment. Let's fast forward here a few weeks. And now the plan has been locked down. However, I've received a revised quote and I've signed a contract for this activity. And I know now we've upgraded that a little bit and it's going to be a little bit higher than my initial estimate. I'm going to tag this now as committed and following this, I'm going to go and generate a PO for this activity. If my organization has an integration with my PO system, I will be able to reference this information as well as a line item unique ID that will allow my PO to flow in directly here as well as all of the actuals corresponding to that PO. By using these key scenario tags, I can help answer key questions such as what is committed spend versus our plan as well I can also reduce my communication back and forth between myself and finance, and I can also help finance with key reporting scenarios such as accruals, reclassifications, and what I call PO management. If my boss also has questions of my data to find out, for example, how have I distributed my plan versus product, I can also quickly and easily see that summary here in this view. As well, if I did want to quickly, on the fly, filter to view just what I've committed to, for example, I could select that to filter just my totals to see that here. As well, in this execution phase now, I can see that some actuals have started to come in related to some of my activities. I can open this panel here to view the details of those actuals that have been applied to my budget. And I can also see the POs that have come in to also help bring in those actuals and also answer some key PO reporting scenarios. You have now seen a summary of how the top-down target number is inputted into the system on the Home tab, the bottoms-up plan number is built, the bottoms-up plan revised plan is inputted as well as key tagging scenarios, as well as how to view actuals and PO on the panel here. Let's now look at how actuals come into the system. On the front end, an import template is set up that specifies your field mapping rules, your duplicate rules, and most importantly, your custom data mapping rules, as well as the connection details for the automated scheduled imports. You can have a variety of multiple different sources from ERP or CRM or other result systems as well. Actuals then flow in automatically into each budget down to the line item level and appear next to the plan details. Here you can see a full audit trail of all of your past imports as well as drill into particular areas, for example, to see what duplicates were recognized within the import to investigate. You can also set schedules here on the front end for your connection details referencing each template. Any actuals and POs that come in can be reviewed and the mappings confirmed here. 
This involves a one, in, one hour training for end users. However, our goal is to set up 100% mapping down to the line item level. End users can confirm here and map down, and the process is the same for both POs and actuals, which makes it very intuitive. Now we have seen how target, plan, revise plan, actuals all get inputted into the system to populate the marketing performance dashboards we saw in part one. Thanks for joining us for this Allocadia demo. You can also request a personalized demo to see how Allocadia can work for your marketing organization by visiting our website, www.allocadia.com.